Hi, I'm Pat Ruff, your AC. I'm here today to talk to you about the Sony full frame 28 to 60 uh, millimeter kit lens. This is an awesome lens because it is got three different aspherical elements in it. Um, so this lens is really, really a sharp lens. Um, it when you put three optical elements of glass that are all spherical in the same optic, you get something that's got a wow factor to it. Uh, so the contrast is going to be good. The, um, the images it makes are, are phenomenal. One of the things I love about it, though, is it's retractable. Um, so what does that mean? So when the lens comes out of the box, it's set to this mode, but your zoom is over here. So what you do is you move this over. And so this is your 28 and this is your 60. Um, but when you're walking around, say, New York City or whatever, and you're like just looking for somebody to shoot, but you're not actively shooting, you can actually put it into this and you get this itty bitty package. And this tiny form factor combined with the three aspherical elements and the linear autofocus motor. Realize this, this lens has the same exact type of autofocus motor that's in the 428 in the 135 18 it is going to be a really, really quick, fast, and most of all, precise lens for autofocus. Now, on the still side, as a, as a kind of a sports photographer, I love this because this is going to be a great lens under the basket. The other thing about this lens is it's weather sealed. So even if you get caught out in a little bit of drizzle, whatever, you don't have to kind of sweat it so much. Uh, it's still going to be good. Now, this lens retails for $498. It's not for everybody. Uh, many people will say, well, that's way too slow for me to kind of commit to uh, for a lens with that limited range of zoom. But here's the thing. That limited range of zoom is exactly the range that you'd want doing street photography. Or if you're on vacation in Europe and you're going to walk around every day for 12 hours and carry a camera with you everywhere you go. Um, and by the way, my, my preference for doing that would be this baby right here. So A7C. Uh, it is really almost as if Sony designed the, um, the camera to be operated with this lens. Look how tiny that is. I mean, we're arriving here at APS-C camera. Uh, in its size. So it's just so small and lightweight. Um, the A7C would make a really remarkable uh, platform on which to use the 28 to 60. And I think a lot of people will look again, they'll look at the speed and they'll say, well, that's too slow for me. But when you have a lens that, th that is this sharp and you've got the Sony sensor inside, a full frame Sony sensor, that's going to be really, really sensitive to light. Uh, you know, and you get really, really sharp images out of it, uh, 498 is not a big deal. The last group of people that may not think they would want this lens, uh, there's a whole bunch of people out there that have made the switch to Sony bodies a long time ago, but they're still using Canon glass to shoot video. This lens should be the first one you buy that's actually made by Sony. You're going to get that linear AF motor, you're going to see how sharp Sony optics are, and the form factor, again, you could put this thing in your pocket all day. And if you really needed autofocus all of a sudden, you couldn't pull focus on something you were working on, this would be a great option uh, for you. One last thing I want to make, recommend uh, is that those of you who are shooting APS-C should not not get this lens because it's made for full frame. Instead, look at it as a 42 to 90 millimeter lens with linear autofocus and three aspheric elements. So this would be a really fantastic lens to get for an APS-C platform. So if you're using, uh, say, the new ZV-E10, or if you're using the A6600 or A6000, whatever, this is a really, really nice sharp lens. Even though it's designed for uh, full frame, it can easily be used and used very well on the APS-C platform. So don't be afraid of it because of that. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you found this useful. Appreciate it.